apologies for the delay. Your next trial awaits. Are you coming down with a cold, Dr. Chavez? You sound rather hoarse. Very droll. My colleague is busy preparing something special for you, so I'm going to conduct this one. You can call me Cal. You're not a doctor? We're all doctors here, Madeline. It starts to lose its meaning after a while. Tell me more about that. What's it like working here? Like nothing you can imagine. Vast resources, almost complete autonomy, zero regulatory oversight, and all alongside the world's best and brightest mavericks. That sounds like rather a double-edged sword. What happens if one of you goes rogue? Everyone must answer that in their own way. We're all on the same path, Madeline, just standing at different points. Now, shall we begin? Good lord. Is the chasm really necessary? Was solid ground too expensive? On the contrary. This facility is literally carved into subterranean rock and costs billions. But we do enjoy a little theater now and again. <clears throat> As you know, due to excessive application of antibiotics in both healthcare and agriculture, treatment resistant bacteria are increasingly common. In this scenario, one such pathogen has become a global pandemic, causing sickness and death. Luckily, a new treatment has been discovered, and you are in charge of the team using it to contain the outbreak. You must allocate annual assignments to your staff over a period of five years. You can either send them to affected regions to reduce the number of infections, or they can conduct research increasing your ability to reduce infection rates. You can change your mind as often as you like until you pull the action lever. When you do, your choices will be calculated, and the map will update to show the results for that year. Your goal is to keep the death rate below acceptable losses in each region. Failure will end the simulation, and you will have to retry. When you're ready to begin, pull the action lever. This will send already trained staff to the affected region. Thank goodness, an undo button. So if I want to change my mind, I do it here. Stone, there's no staff here to reassign. staff. Use the subtract button to deallocate people so you can move them around. So this will help my staff reduce the infection rate when I send them to affected regions. Sorry, Dr. Stone. There's no staff here to reassign. You're out of staff. Use the subtract button to deallocate people so you can move them around.
You're out of staff. Use the subtract button to deallocate people so you can move them around. In the past year, infection has risen in North America by roughly 20%. In South America, by roughly 30%. In Europe, by around 30%. In Africa, by roughly 35%. In Northern Asia, by about 35%. In Southern Asia, by roughly 25%. And in Oceania, by around 25%. Stone, there's no staff here to reassign. You're out of staff. Use the subtract button to deallocate people so you can move them around. Sorry, Dr. Stone, there's no staff here to reassign. You're out of staff. Use the subtract button to deallocate people so you can move them around. there were way higher than accepted limits. To be honest, it kind of looked like you were trying to lose. Either way, pull the action lever to restart the simulation and try to focus this time. You're out of staff. Use the subtract button to deallocate people so you can move them around. You're out of staff. Use the subtract button to deallocate people so you can move them around. Sorry, Dr. Stone, there's no staff here to reassign. Sorry, Dr. Stone, there's no staff here to reassign. You're out of staff. Use the subtract button to deallocate people so you can move them around. Longer than last time. 
Just pull the lever again to have one more attempt. Is this part of the trial? Well, certainly not. Hang on. Uh, there seems to be a failure down in power routing. We're not going anywhere for a while. What? I can't even go back to that nice, comfy prison cell? Nope. The doors are on auto lock. Frankly, I'm surprised this tannoy is even still working. For a place that costs billions of dollars, you don't... Madeline, listen to me. I just realized the monitors are down too. Right now, nobody else can hear us. Okay. What you said earlier about going rogue, that's happening right now. But not in the way you did. It's true, your mother consented to the treatment you carried out, right? Of course she did. What the hell does that have to do with anything? Look, everyone here knows you got a raw deal. But not everyone asks before they start running experiments. That's outrageous. And what do you propose to do about it? Put it this way, if all goes to plan, then by the time you join the assembly, I'll already be gone. The situation will be under control, but you and I will never meet again. Hang on. Is this another trial? Are you testing me for, I don't know, loyalty or something? You and I aren't so different, Madeline. I know what it's like to lose yourself after a failure. What it's like to realize you've unwittingly killed when you thought you were doing good. And to lose the ones you love because they can't face what you've become. So what advice do you have for me? Should I even take this position? Only you can decide that. But I think... Okay, Madeline, can you hear me now? Is the Tannoy working again? Uh, yes, Cal. Yes, I can hear you now. <clears throat> then let's resume. Pull the action lever and try again. all your staff before you can proceed, Dr. Stone. And I'm beginning to suspect the next time won't be any better either. This is an unwinnable scenario. There just aren't enough resources to beat this thing. Exactly. And it only took you three attempts to figure it out. That's pretty good. This exercise simulates the speed of infection vectors, following global saturation of antibiotic immunity. It demonstrates the impossibility of effective treatment, while medical advances are slowed and hampered by current legal and ethical boundaries. Simply put, the Assembly has the resources, and the will, to operate beyond those boundaries. Meaning what? That you're happy to administer untested treatments? More that we're willing to conduct those tests with less red tape than usual. And you know about that, Madeline. The only question is, how far will you go to succeed? There's no straight answer to that. It always depends. Yes, it does. And you may even find your answer changes over time. You can leave now, Madeline. Dr. Chavez will be back shortly. See you around, Cal. Never can tell. No, you certainly can't. Just what am I letting myself in for here? <laughs> 